Well, spring is upon us, which means I got work to do, which means I don't want to do it, but I got to do it because she told me to do it and I don't want to do it. So I'm going to do it. All right, guys, what we got going on today? We got some yard work going on today. If this is not your thing, I understand because it ain't really my thing either. But some things you just got to do that you don't want to do. You know what I'm trying to say, right? Anyway, we got our weed whacker here. Now, the problem with this here is it doesn't want to stay running very long. I can't get the RPMs up. That's my fault for a maintenance issue. I haven't been doing the maintenance like I'm supposed to be doing the maintenance. I haven't been mixing the gas properly. Hence the reason I did the video for the gas mixing. I get this thing here going. I gotta pull the plug out of it, see what the plug looks like. I might have to go get a new one. Get the boot popped off here. There we go. Just need a little help. Should have been a while. <laughs> been a while, been ever. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, guys, this is a two-stroke, so it is a gas oil mix. I'm going to try and clean this spark plug up. Check the specs on it, see what the gap is. I'll set the gap on it. But it doesn't look bad. I mean, I didn't expect it to be all carboned up. It's not a strictly gas engine, so. Got plenty of space in there. I mean, it doesn't look bad at all. I just clean it up a little bit. So we go online and check to see what the gap's supposed to be on the spark plug. We'll get her all gap. We'll get her gap set. We're gonna get her gap set. Get her gap set. Then <laughs> we're gonna put it back in. All right. The internet says it's supposed to be at about forty thousandths. We're just gonna clean this up. I say about forty thousand. No, it's supposed to be at forty thousandths. So clean this up a little bit. Get what little carbon there is out of there. You know professional spark plug restoration service here not really you believe that did you so you came out of the package all right we'll get this spark plug back in here gapped clean not cross threaded because we don't do cross threaded well we have all right snug that in there not overly tight. Put that back on. Oh, you hear that snap? That means we're good. So we dumped out the old gas. I put in some new mix. new mix in there this thing has not started all winter We didn't need a new spark plug. We just needed better gas, properly mixed gas, which is what we got this time. So it's mixed. As you see, started. Where are you going? Come over here. So as you see, it hadn't been run all year long. You do the starting procedure, and it fired right up. Clean the spark plug, but most of all, it had proper gas in it. Last year, it ran like garbage, complete garbage, which is my fault, user error, because I just winged the gas. You do the proper gas fires right up and runs nice and smooth that's gonna do it for here we're about to load up in the truck and head to chad and look for some gravel 
stone, not gravel. When you call it gravel, she'll lose her mind. Anyway, we're going to go look for some stone for the backyard here because the dogs are just killing the grass. There's no way we're going to grow grass back here. So we'll see you all in a minute on the way to chat. Right, made our way to glass house let's go in and see what they got we're looking for some decorative stone whatever else she finds back breaking labor is what she's gonna find hey you think so so we are here looking for some gravel to take up our backyard you like this one What you thinking? Yeah. That one. That's not bad. That's not bad, I guess. All right. So the stone she wants is two hundred dollars. Well, they were looking at is two hundred dollars a large bucket, one thirty nine for a small bucket. We're gonna go look at some more. That's just plain gray. This one's not too bad. This one here's 200, Bubba. That one. That one this one here's 200. Yeah. Covers 123 feet. stone that bark. Covers I'll measure that. I'll measure what we got, but. Uh, oh. Huh. This one over here called the Western Sunrise is 329 for a large bucket. And this one here is chocolate marbles, one fifty nine. It's about the cheapest one here, but the most expensive one here is a really nice looking stone. We could try, I could we could try to find some that are a little brighter, right? Like something like that would go in there nice. So if you could find kind of in that color. All right, so we narrowly averted a disaster. I steered her away from the three twenty nine over to the one ninety nine. So I think we're gonna settle on the one ninety nine. I go home and measure how much we need. And she bought a trellis. Well, I say bought, it ain't paid for it yet. What's up? All right, well, that wasn't too bad. Uh, she picked out the stone, uh, 140 bucks for delivery, and you're driving at 15 minutes. Now, I guess that I know the price of gas has gone through the roof, but still, I thought that was a little steep. Anyway, I'm going to have to borrow a trailer, come to town, get the stone, go back home, and that back-breaking labor I mentioned, that's the stone. Y'all remember what I said about physical labor? Well, we're back home, but we had to stop at Canadian Tire on the way home to get dirt. I got 20 bags of dirt and three bags of manure. Manual labor. Anybody know manual labor? That took a lot longer than it looked. Anyway, we got all our wo oh, wood. <laughs> We got all our dirt stacked up here. So we gotta open up the bags now and put it in the boxes. That simple, but we want a good clean dirt. We got a few weeds in this one here we have to pull out first. And we got three bags of manure, one for each box. The amount of plants we got, wait to see the amount of plants we got. We're gonna need pots to put it in because we're not gonna have enough flower bed. All right, so let me find a tripod because now, it's gonna say our job, but my job is to split all them bags open, get the dirt in the box. It's not 100 degrees, it's nice out today. Makes it work and bearable, let's get to it. Manual labor. 
labor came to my house today. But today's Sunday. What's going on at your place? Are you working on the garden? I said this numerous times before and I'm going to say it again. The state of the world that we live in today, you got to take care of yourself. Hence the reason we are planting an even bigger garden than what we had last year. Hence the reason we harvested seeds last year for this year. Less dependent on the system. Because when you go to the grocery store in a couple months and there's nothing there, no fruit, no fresh vegetables, you're going to be wishing you planted your own. Never too late to get started. Unless you're planting them in December, then let me know how your tomatoes make out in December. Here in Canada, we got the dirt out, gotta clean up my mess. I'll take you inside and show you what we got for plants. More than we bargained for. Well, here's an update on all the plants. Jen's been busy separating them all, giving them all their individual own plant. That's a tedious job. She can have it. I don't like it. Uh, see, we got a bunch going here, a bunch going here. These are some beans, cucumbers, tomatoes, beefsteak tomatoes, pumpkin. All kinds of stuff. So these are nowhere near ready to go in the ground yet. Um, I think it's probably going to be another couple of weeks. We don't have real steady warm weather right now. It's kind of hit and miss, which is par for the course. But probably in the next couple of weeks, these things will be heading to the dirt, which is that manual labor thing going on in the backyard you just witnessed. You might want to write that down because that don't happen too often. She's up there agreeing with me. We'll get her all gap, we'll get her gap set. We're gonna get her gap set. Get her gap set. 